Warning. This channel features sarcasm and jokes. If you are offended by anything, we are not sorry. Smile. Love it. Ah, oh, punishing bad queen moves. Oh, sensational. Knight d5 is even stronger. Good move, though. Bishop e3 all day. Okay. Uh, don't, all right. Rule of thumb for beginners. All right. If you don't, more often than not, retreating is a bad move. If you have a forward move, it's almost always better. Okay? So, you're very welcome. Bishop e3 is a better move. Knight d5 is even a better move because you can go to c7. All right? Don't go backwards. Develop. Now, why would you do this now to damage your own structure, man? Why not bishop c4 and castle? Come on. Oh, fuck's sake. The threat is this. You got to protect it. Bro, I swear, this is like two NPCs. This is like uh, Google playing uh, ChatGPT. They just make their own moves. This is zero communicating between all the players. What? What? Oh my god, what? What? All right, you know what? I'm not even... I, I need a break. I need a break. Um, I need a break. I'm, I'm, I'm... I need, I, I can't. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna spend like two minutes uploading a YouTube short. Uh, I, 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 I need a little time out. I, I'm, I'm very upset right now. Okay. Terrific. Now. An instant replay of the last three moves. Black goes here. White goes here. Black goes here. White offers a doubling of their pawns. Black attacks the knight. White does this completely ignoring that. Black goes here. White needs to capture and castle. Thank you. Or defend the knight. Okay. I'm very happy your username is about marijuana because it really feels like this move is smoking a boatload of it. What is bishop d5? Like, what it, is the idea? Yo, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna move my bishop because it defends the knight. I mean the pawn, and then also if he goes here, I'll like take his rook. It's crazy, dude. Oh my god, bro. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can move my knight there and just. <laughs> Um, no, bishop d5 is, uh, let me explain. The way you look at this position is you go, okay, what's the threat? First of all, the threat is to take that because you're pinned. Second of all, the threat is to take that and then take one of these two. Do you have a way to guard both things at the same time? One of your pieces has that ability. Yep. Boom. Easy. Then castle. Uh, this is considered the top engine move because your opponent taking this... Why is this position not that good for black? In a sentence, not because of a move. Can you, would you be able to explain? Black has no development. Sorry, I, I've, I have to... Uh, I've been responding to some messages and it's uh, quite annoying. Black's king is stuck in the center of the board. Uh, also, anytime there is a queen and a king directly standing like this, with nothing between them, or with undefended pieces between them, it's actually quite easy to exploit. So, the best move here is bishop d4. Because it attacks this and rook e1. Somebody in the chat said, what about queen d4? Queen d4 is a move that you play, like, to convince yourself it's a good move. You, like, play queen d4 and you go, oh, and then I attack this, so I'm gonna do that. This is idiotic. Don't do that. That's not how you... That's not how you should think in chess. 
don't just, you know, you got to think, all right, well, is this, do I want a queen trade right now? This creates a threat. And then rookie one is a huge threat. No, no, I wasn't trying to call anybody an idiot. I was just saying, okay, F, nice. Bishop back. Okay, what, what is rook b1? What? I mean, maybe rook e1. So, the thing about rook b1 is you, you're not even... What? No, but actually you're a genius because apparently losing the bishop is not even the best move because of how weak black's king is rookie one and oh my god okay well it turns out you're just a genius that's why your opponent didn't take rookie one all day what all day Oh, is, is bishop g5 coming? Oh, that's a good move. Did you hang your queen? Uh-oh, they could take your rook. They did. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now you've... Now you got... Oh, they hung their b7 pawn. There's a mate coming. There's a mate coming. Maybe there isn't a mate coming. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. None of these moves are predict. Oh! Oh! You won all their pawns. H5, let's go! Let's go! Yes! What a game! Ah! G6! Monster. Okay. The only way you're going to get consistently better at chess is if you minimize the chaos in your games. See, a lot of you 800s have games that are just like, you know, uh, that are just nuts. Like, uh, that, are, that are very unpredictable, very... Um, so, in this opening, you played fine, but... Bad principles here, and I, I think it's maybe an over-reliance on the Vienna to succeed. But don't go backwards if if it's... Don't go backwards. Like, if you don't have to go back, don't do it. Try to develop your pieces without damaging your own structure. Acknowledge your opponent's threats. Uh, don't leave a bishop parked in the center of the board, okay? Just don't do this. It can get hit, it can get hit. Just don't do it. Just just don't do it. Just don't do it. Also, don't hang your pieces? How'd you play this move in 1.4 seconds? But it was low-key genius move. Um, this was excellent. Now, again, the same way you shouldn't leave bishops out in the center. Anytime you move a queen out for the rest of your life, anytime you move a queen out, Ask yourself, is there a bishop on the other side that can attack me from far away? Just take a look. You might miss it. One last thing. Somebody asking a question in chat. Why is it bad to park a bishop, but it's better to park a knight? Because a knight can move like an L. Knight could get in and out quick. Bishop has no role here. There's no role on d5. It has the same exact role it had on c4. If there was a rook under attack, at least I would understand. For instance, is bishop d5 a good move in this position? Let's just say, like, let's just make sure black's... Oh, now it's kind of silly, I guess. Anyway, is the move bishop d5 a good move in this position? Is it, a, like, a losing move? No. 
but is it like a good move? No. <laughs> I mean, if you go here, they just go here. Now you gotta go. Whereas, if you move a knight to d5, can they go here? First of all, there's a bishop hanging, but let's just say there wasn't a bishop hanging. What does white play after the move c6? Fork, right? But the queen, so... You use the knight to get the bishop to f4. That's the thing about knights. They're weird. If they stand in the center, they support other squares. They don't have to leave. Whereas if you put a bishop in the center of the board, that's it, bro. It's black and white. No pun intended. Like, that's it. That's the only idea. That's the only idea. So. Um. Yeah. Simple. Dimple, pop it, squeeze. Um, in about 40 minutes, we are gonna start a poker stream. What do we do until then?